Hello all you nice friendly people, I am Avery and today is day six of Preptober. The past couple of days I have been talking about creating characters for your novel and today I am going to be talking about the subject of diversity in literature and how this applies to your novel. In my last video I challenged you guys to come up with a cast of between 10 and 30 characters for your novel and right now I am going to use my super accurate psychic powers to make some predictions about your character list. Right, I predict that over 65% of your characters are male. I predict that around 80% of them are white. I predict that none of your characters are LGBTQ+, and your main protagonist is a straight white male. Now, if I am wrong about any of those predictions, then congratulations, because your novel is already more diverse than the vast majority of fiction that is on the market right now. Let's look at women in fiction for an example. Now you might think, how can there be an issue with diversity regarding women? Women make up 50% of the population of the world. They are not exactly a minority. Well, you're right, except when it comes to literature. Take a look at the amount of female characters in fiction and you might start to notice that 50% suddenly becomes a much smaller number. Studies on fiction have shown that on average about 64% of novels have a male protagonist. Only 26% have a female protagonist and the other 10% are novels with multiple protagonists that are both male and female. Moreover, the majority of novels that do have a female protagonist are usually romance novels or novels that are catered specifically towards women. Gender neutral novels with female protagonists like The Hunger Games and Miss Bourne are very few and far between. And this isn't just the case with protagonists either. You would think that most novels would have a roughly 50-50 split in regard to how many characters are male and how many are female. But again, that number is surprisingly skewed towards men. In most novels, roughly 65% of characters are male and 35% are female. It's a really surprising statistic and I think it's important when writing a novel to think about the ratio of male to female characters and ask yourself the question, does that really make sense? Now, sometimes it does make sense. Maybe you are writing a novel that is set in no man's land in the middle of World War I, in which case having a cast made out entirely of male characters makes complete sense. Likewise, you might be writing a story based in an all-girls boarding school, in which case it would make sense for the characters in your book to be mostly female. But if you are writing a book with a mixed gender setting and you find that the vast majority of your characters are male, ask yourself, do they need to be? Is there any reason you can't take some of those male characters, chop off their dicks, slap a pair of boobs on them and make them women instead? They don't need to have a different personality or different motivations. They don't need to become conventionally more attractive. They can be the exact same character as you were writing before, just with boobies. Now, you might be surprised by the statistics of what percentage of fictional characters are male, but that is nothing when you compare it to how many fictional characters are white. Studies show that in fiction, over 75% of protagonists are white. 15% are black, only 6% are made up of other races and cultures, with the other 4% presumably being non-specified. And of those 15% of stories with a black protagonist, a lot of them are stories that are centred around subjects like slavery, slavery or racism, where the character being black is integral to the plot of the story. It is quite rare to find a non-white protagonist in a story that isn't centred around the subject of racism. Now, in regards to you and whatever novel you are writing, I'd say the subject of race is a little more complicated than gender, as the ratio of men to women is roughly 50-50 worldwide, whereas characters' race will depend heavily on the date and location the novel is set in. For example, if your novel is set in medieval England, it would make sense for the characters in your novel to all be white. Likewise, if your novel is set in feudal Japan, it would make sense for all of the characters to be Japanese. That said, if your novel has a more modern or futuristic setting, then diversity in regards to race is something you should probably consider. Let's say your novel is set in modern day New York. Well, in New York right now, the population is roughly 50% white, 20% Hispanic, 15% black, 10% Asian, and about 5% other races. So if your novel is set in modern day New York, it doesn't really make sense for all of your characters to be white. So think about what race all of your characters 
characters are going to be. Consider whether or not the race ratio is accurate to your novel setting and consider changing the races of some of your characters to make it more accurate. And finally, while other areas lack diversity, the numbers are lowest of all when looking at characters that are LGBT. According to studies that I've seen, less than 4% of novels contain LGBTQ plus characters. Now you might say that makes sense because if you're going by numbers alone, the vast majority of people are straight and cisgendered. And you'd be right. According to recent studies, only 7% of Americans identify as LGBTQ plus. So you'd expect the number of LGBTQ plus characters to be quite low. But with that in mind, most novels do tend to have a decent amount of characters. If you think about the numbers, 7% is roughly 1 in 15 people. So statistically, you would think that if a novel has at least 15 characters, chances are at least one of them is going to be LGBT. But they're not. And again, on the rare occasions that you will find a novel with an LGBT protagonist, the novels are almost always centred around LGBTQ plus subjects, like a young man entering his first gay relationship and coming to terms with his sexuality, or a transgender teenager who is too afraid to come out to their transphobic parents. You will hardly ever find a murder mystery or a monster horror or an epic high fantasy saga where the main character just happens to be LGBT. Now, as always, there are cases where you as an author might have a legitimate reason not to include any LGBTQ plus characters in your novel. Maybe you're writing a straight romance novel where the male and female love interests are the only two characters in the novel. Maybe you're writing a novel made up of mostly child characters where the children are at an age that they don't even know their own sexualities yet. Maybe it's set in a time or place where LGBT people are heavily persecuted to the point that a a character might be too afraid to admit their sexuality or gender identity. But again, if none of these are relevant and there is no reason for your novel to exclude LGBTQ plus characters, then fairly representing LGBT characters in your novel is something that I really think aspiring authors should consider. So your homework for today is to have a think about your characters and consider what are the gender, race and sexuality of all of those characters going to be and consider whether the representation in your novel is realistic when considering your novel setting. Now, if you take everything I've said today into consideration and you still decide, no, for the novel that I'm writing, it really doesn't make sense to have a diverse cast of characters. I'm keeping my characters exactly the way they were before. Then that's fine. At least you thought about it and that's that's the important thing. In my next video, we are going to be fleshing out all of your characters. We are going to be creating character sheets that are specific to you and the novel that you are writing to help you find out everything you need to know about your characters. Things like names, appearances, history, relationships, goals and ambitions, everything that makes your characters who they are. But that's it for today, folks. I hope I see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep following my Preptober vlog and together we are going to create some amazing characters.